In today's video, we're gonna replace that tired, old, hateful fluorescent shop lighting with some new high-tech LEDs. I have been busy the last couple days getting everything ready for winter. Man, there's nothing like the leaves falling to kind of get you in the mood and all of those unfinished things that uh, you want to have done for winter. Uh, Brian and I are totally revamping the main shop. You'll see everything. We have a bunch of stuff piled up there in the middle uh, because we are reconfiguring everything. We want to be able to get the equipment in here and have a, a nice dry space to work in uh, when it rains and snows. And one thing that has bothered me to no end is this. This is not proper. <laughs> I have no one to blame but myself, but when we first moved in here, we were, uh, well, we were poor. We didn't have money for anything, uh, and it was kind of make do with what we had, and I raided these uh, real kind of low-end T8 shop lights out of one of the old barns and cobbled them together, and every time I look at it, it just well, it just makes me mad, <laughs> so, <laughs> it was so poorly done. So today, we are going to remedy that and do it up correctly. So hang on to your hats, we're gonna have a good time today. So you can see here that these, <laughs> these lights are uh, being held up by, uh, by some baling wire, essentially. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I used to be a uh, commercial construction superintendent. So I, well, I was fortunate to work around some really great guys and electricians and framers that did things right. So I picked up a few, few hints uh, to, or tricks here and there. But what we're gonna be using today is we're gonna be mounting these beautiful fluorescent, or these, not fluorescent, these LED lights. They're just Home Depot variety. They're really a good value. There's one eight footer and one four that we'll chain together uh, and hang from this Unistrut. Unistrut is a heavy duty metal strut. You'll see here in a minute. There's a piece of it uh, that you can hang all sorts of things. They make clips and springs and attachment points and, and it's just used all the time for plumbers and electricians and it is the correct way to do it in combination with all thread. So every man want on your to do or things to buy list, you want to buy it. You want an aluminum ladder. <laughs> Although it's kind of heavy and unwieldy, I recommend you get the uh, get a 30 footer, 32 footer is it? That way you can split them and you've got two 15s and two 15s, a 15 will reach the average eave of your roof. Uh, so if you need you know, something where you like putting up a fascia board or something and you need two people to do it, uh, you can do it, so you can thank my dad for that clever advice. I'll tell you a funny ladder story. Mrs. W and I had just been mar just got married, and she uh, and she had a such a fancy education. When I'd met her, she was hanging around with some pretty fancy people. Uh, more so than what I was used to. Uh, so I was uh, at one of these uh, fancy people get togethers and with a group of guys and we were talking about, uh, uh, you know, everybody's about the same age and you know, just recently getting married and so kind of everybody into their first home and all that. Four guys were standing around having a beer, just talking. And uh, granted, these are the fancy guys, don't forget that. Uh, and the, the, the topic of, uh, came up that uh, one of the guys said, hey, I got to clean, clean my gutters on my roof. It's all winter's coming and, and I don't have a ladder. And I, uh, I, la I chuckled, you know, I thought that that was funny. And they looked at me like, what are you laughing at? You know, I, mean, I, was, I just thought it was funny that a, that a guy had not have a ladder, you know. But uh, so... Uh, after that, uh, the other two guys said, oh, no, you don't want to do that. That's, that's dangerous. You could fall off that ladder and get hurt. And I just, I just cracked up. I laughed again. I thought, that they were, I thought that they were joking, you know, just giving the guy a hard time. But they were dead serious. They had never been up on a ladder, and they had no intention of ever getting up on a ladder. And they had uh, convinced the poor guy that uh, probably would have done it uh, not to do it because he wasn't he didn't have the abilities according to them so I guess it's not that funny I'll just something I'll never forget 
Look at this disaster. Shameful. Whoop. Just a... We'll get this sorted out. Off to the trash heap. So the Unistrut here is just a, a channel and uh, you can, uh, uh, so we're gonna, we're gonna suspend it from that uh, two by up on the ceiling and uh, we're gonna use threaded rod. So this is just the threaded rod, that's half inch threaded rod and it will hang down from, it's very strong. Uh, and it's, it's, it doesn't wiggle around so much. And then you can get all these cool little, little clips and different things that are made to go in the Unistrut. So what you do is you, uh, you put this in there like this. If I can do it, you put this in there, then you give it a twist, twist it to the right like that. And there now you have an adjustable uh, mounting point for anything you like right there, so which is gonna be the threaded rod. So super clean and uh, just the, the really the correct way to do it. Now to mount the all thread uh, to the top, we'll use these, these cadmium brackets right here with the half inch leg bolts. And then our all thread will go down through here and hang. And then you can see that those are definitely gonna be strong. So I'm gonna hang the, the LED strips from the, the all, some all thread. This is half inch all thread. It's just a round threaded rod that's threaded the whole length it gives us lots of adjustability. Uh, so this is a 10 footer and I figured about five foot off the rafter is what we're going to need for cutting all thread or rebar. A reciprocating saw with a metal blade works as good as any. So I've got the L bracket installed up there. So we're going to put these, uh, we got two half inch cadmium nuts. We'll put one on first on the bottom. What's so nice about the hanging from the all thread is that, you know, we may find that our building is not not square, not uh, plum level, a <laughs> square. Uh, this gives us lots of adjustability. So now we can go through the bracket, tighten these down, and then we can adjust it so that it's, um, that the, the light is, ends up level. My workbench is 12 feet long, so I wanted uh, 12, feet, 12 feet of light. Uh, so what I bought was I bought an eight and a four. Uh, so I just finished mounting up the, the eight foot LED here on the Unistret, so I'll flip this over and show you kind of how that did and then we'll, we'll do the next one together. But there you can see those little clips in there. Focus, focus, and the heart racer. Uh, mounted three of those on there. So those are really nice. Those little blue clips, they hold them in place. And then I just threaded through the light, a little stainless steel uh, quarter 20 screw. And then uh, there is, uh, this Unistrut's only 10 feet long, so lights are 12. So there is a one foot overhang uh, on the edges, which is fine. No problem there. Got the, uh, both the all threads mounted up there. You can see up there on the bracket, I'll take, maybe I'll take you up there in the ladder. And here are those spring clips. Ooh, brutal light right there. Can we focus? And those, uh, once I have the lights mounted, I can't focus on it. Then those will just uh, turn up in there and lock in. Super, super slick system. So let's mount the little four footer up. So these little, little guys, I don't know what they're called. You guys are, electricians you can chime in and tell me but they just snap on there the little plastic things on there man that is so nice because they just hold them in place and then we'll be able to move those around so, so then we'll use these quarter 20 screws i just got these little stainless guys some leftover ones from the van projects here and then they'll come in from the other side and screw in there i'm a huge huge fan of these lights i these are the same ones that i put in my uh, my shut my wood shop and I just, I just love them. They, uh, you know, they don't, they last for, they're supposed to, well, I don't know. They're supposed to last for a long, long time, a lot longer than the other ones. Um, they use less energy, a whole lot less energy. And they just are a really nice white, bright white, 4,000 on the Kelvin scale, I believe, which is nice. It's nice to, to for videography and all of that. So I'm going to put these little guys on here, little anti-chafing things. So when the wire runs through, it doesn't have a sharp metal edge. You don't want to run your fixtures through a hard or sharp metal um, case or anything like this that would get could cause you know that could shave off the the insulators or the 
cover. There, that's going to be very nice. So the holes don't line up with the unistrut, so I'm just simply uh, just uh, identifying. You just look under here and find where there is a hole. So we'll say right here, and then I'm just taking a little step drill, and then just drill in a little 5 sixteenths. or a quarter inch hole right there. Then you find your little nut on the bottom side there with your fingers. And here is your little Allen head quarter 20 screws. Tighten that up. Same thing over here. Just put your nut on there. Just kind of mark that. where that hole is going to be and then you can just drill a hole just estimate the center all right here we go so theoretically we should be able to just take this whole assembly now up here <laughs> and uh, turn these uh, Turn the clips in. Kind of a two person job, but uh, how simple is that? We'll turn this one in over here. Ah, oh, this is so great, such a great way to do it because it's, once it's up, I can change the position of it. This way, forward, left and right, or up and down. I think I'm gonna favorite a little over this way uh, because uh, that's where my main work area is. And it'd be nice to have a little bit more light over the vise. We're ready to turn it on. Three, two, one. Oh man, that is so much better. It's so bright. I've struggled with this for so many years doing detail work and welding and not being able to see very well. Oh man, I love it. That is beautiful. All right, let me bring you up here for a closer look. I think we could probably see it best from up here. Oh yeah, here we go, okay. So look how clean that is. Really nice, I just took the, just hooked up the existing wire ran it down the back side of the all thread. Here you can see those, focus, how the nuts lock in there. Hold the light on, very clean. Hanging over a foot there, but no problem, really strong. You can hang lots of stuff from this. Uh, these brackets here, you can see those 90s, I just lagged in there, half inch lag bolts. But man, that looks good. Over here, See how that spring works right there? I think I did that right. I wonder, there's probably some sort of a, maybe a nut or, or that locks that down there, but I'm not worried about it. It's got a spring holding tension on it. And I, I think it'll be just fine. But that looks great. Oh man, I should have did that a long time ago. Now I want to go do the same thing over there to those ganky lights. Look at those horrible things. I don't think I'll worry about that too much. I don't work over there too much. So I got the big fluorescents. I'll run those until they start going out and then we'll swap those out with high bays or maybe LEDs or something like that. But uh, this is my, this was the main one right here, but then that looks good. All right, well, you can do it. Um, nothing real exotic here. I guess as far as the cost, how much do I have into all this? Threaded rod was about $9. Um, the, the all thread was about $30. Uh, the lights were the eight footer was $80 and the four footer was 40. And just, uh, so what do I have there? I've got 80, 120, 140, 150, some odds and ends. So I'd say probably around, let's say $175 for everything, uh, to install a, a shop like this 12 foot led strip, um, over your, your work area. So that's, that's pretty good. I don't think that's bad at all. Um, I'm happy with the results. So that's it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one 
we're going to get to work over there. We got some big plans. <laughs>